A woman to be in a full argument with a man and be like, this is point A of why I'm upset, point B is what you did, point C is how you did it, how I found out, and why I'm upset. And a man will still text back and be like, what you mean? Mm, mm, mm. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right, folks, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like and hit that subscribe. Poor favor. All right, let's do this, come on. Hop on in, let's buckle in, and let's go. Okay, okay, YouTube folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so there's a viral video that's out there about a young lady who tried to finesse a man on a date, and it turned out badly for her, all right? But before we break this down, um, I'm going to say I think it's a skit, okay? Me personally, I think it's a skit, but for conversation purposes, we're going to see and assume it's real, all right? So... I late with this nigga I met a few weeks ago out with my friends. This nigga been texting me for weeks talking to his ass. Why I didn't block him? <laughs> Bitch, I don't know. Young lady was never into dude. Dude kept sweating her, calling her, texting her. What's up? Let's meet up. And she just kept saying, now I'm busy. I'm washing my hair. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So one day she's bored and she's hungry. And so she decided to call dude up and dude, all happy, agreed to meet up at a restaurant. But today I was bored and I had time. So he texted me like, can we meet for drinks? And I'm like, yeah, meet me here. They got the best fucking oysters in Atlanta, like hands down. So I'm like, yes, I can get some content, come on. So they meet up at a restaurant. And um, this is the thing I have a problem with uh, ladies right now, okay? They want to film everything. They want to put you on blast. They want to um, sneak, uh, pull out the phone and sneak record you. You know what I'm saying? This is a problem with young ladies now. And I would like to thank social media, TikTok and you all. Thank you for whoever invented, whoever invented the social media platform. Thank you. All right. Because these young ladies are showing it all. They're big as dummies. And I love it. There's no honest women out there anymore. There's no honest hoes out there anymore. They wanna, they wanna chase clout and put you on blast. Okay, fine. So, young lady is trying to re record it, and she says she was, she needed content. So she was gonna try to use dude for content. So they go out on a date, and um, she orders a bed of oysters. <laughs> Now, dude, probably thinking, wow, she got some oysters. We all know that oysters are an aphrodisiac and get her in the mood, and we're gonna go home and have a good old night, right? Now, notice that she never showed her face. I never think I saw her finger to see how fat her fingers are, but I believe she's a big girl because there's no way a young lady, 120 pounds maybe, will eat a whole bed of oysters by herself, unless she gotta be really starving out there, all right? But she didn't do that. She went and ordered a second bed of oysters and a third bed of oysters and four bed of oysters for an appetizer. Yeah, when the fourth one came out, he was looking at me crazy. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, baby, you invited me out. I'm gonna eat and I was coming anyway. But I ain't gonna lie. No, I wouldn't have did all that, but I did do all that. That was so good. I was not expecting it to be that good. Mm. Oh my God. It was just so good. Like, I just, I had to. 
Now, guys, you all know how much these damn bed voices cost. They're about 20 bucks a pop. Plus her drinks. She probably had two drinks already. And an appetizer. This is why I believe she had to be a big girl. She's a black woman. You can hear, you can hear it on her voice that she's a big girl, right? So this is the thing with guys, black guys especially. We don't shoot for the high pretty girls. You know, we always go for the the big girls, the um, unattractive girls, the butterface. You know, the ones that fine bodies, but they face of ugh, butters, right? So he was that probably think he's gonna smash his girl, this big girl, and and you know have a good old time with her. She's a you know swallowing some oysters, it's going down her gullet, and he's thinking he's gonna have a good time with her. So after the fourth appetizers which is probably a lot and the guys you know okay check please ready to go she ordered some entrees so after that i'm like baby mm, what's next what i'm about to eat these potatoes mm, they were so good in the crab cakes everything was so good 10 10 baby and not just regular entrees i'm talking about she went for the big gusto shit right one two entrees that's why i say she got to be a big girl if this is real so again guys gen x no now excuse me gen z gen z had figured this out okay gen z men have figured it out they said they're gonna smash first and if the women are worth it then they'll take you out they're not gonna take you out in the to ocean air and let you spend two, three hundred dollars on them and not smash because they already figured out that the girl's gonna be bloated after after dinner. They're gonna be bloated, gassy, not in the mood. They're gonna have the itis. You know what I'm saying? She's not gonna be in the mood, right? So they want to smash first and then take you out on a date if you've been a good girl, <laughs> right? So older men, Gen X, millennials. Gen Z have figured it out, and I think I hope you figured it out too. Do not spend all this money, especially on the first date, on somebody you didn't smash yet, because it's gonna end up like this. Why the fuck this bitch ass nigga say he going to the bathroom and never come back? The fuck? I'm like, hold the fuck on. It's been like 10, 20, 30 minutes, bitch. What the fuck this nigga at? I had to end up grabbing a tab, bitch. Nigga left me with his little one fucking drink. Yeah, bitch, I'm so glad bitch keep me some money because what? That was crazy to me. And I said, bitch, you run out of- so Young man, finally figured out, man, she's not out here for me. She's out here to trying to eat, all right? So he excused himself. He said some shit like, I got to take a shit. I'll be back. And dining dash on her. <laughs> Left her with a check. So she got egg on her face and she was recording this and- Again, she got the content that she wanted, and I'm glad that she did it because now we all can see this buffoonery's out there. These women are not here for you guys; they're out here to finesse you on a date, on a dinner date. Don't even do it. Don't even do it. Take them out to Popeyes. Take them out to Jersey Mike's. You know, take them something very quick. If the conversation good, meet me at my place. We'll do it again. But I'm not taking you out on a first date and let you order lobster, girl. No, that's lobster and steak is for the wife. If you wifey material, yes. If we're just gonna hook up, man, you getting the number one with cheese, young lady. All right, number one with cheese. So this is a great example. And now that she put it out there, that everybody's eyes can see if they start ordering stupid food and the, the the ring the cost going up she's not gonna sleep with you that night dude she's gonna get bloated she's gonna have she's gonna be gassy she's gonna need a uh, uh pepto bismol at the end of the night because her stomach is not gonna be selling well and then you're not gonna smash all right another one here's another example for you guys that if she drinks more than two liquor beverages do do not even go home with her all right She's gonna say she's drunk, and if you take it, or she even give it to you, the end of the night, she's gonna pull consent from you. 
Yes, they could do that now. Women could pull consent. Even though she's sleep with you, even though you had a good time, and then she wakes up with a hangover, and you know, she don't like what happened, she could pull consent on you. So again, if she's drinking more than two drinks, don't do it. Let her go home, call an Uber, and keep it moving. That's the new rule, guy. If she drinks more than two adult beverages, it's going to be a bad night for you. All right? That's that's another lessons out here. So, that's all I got for you guys. You guys be careful, especially young guys. You have enough money. Do not date. If you're broke, do not go on dates. All right? Do not do no dining dash. You don't have the money to take these young ladies out. Don't do it. Save your face. This is going to be for the big dogs. But if you're a young pup and trying to go out on dates, make sure you keep it to Zaxby levels. You know what I'm saying? If she can't, if she don't want to go out there with you on Zaxby's, forget it. Don't do it. If anything with adult beverages, if she drinks more than two adult beverages, that's going to be problems. I don't care if she do take you out or I mean, she take. I don't care if she do take up your offer and you go to her place or your place and you have sex she could still say, I didn't consent. I was drunk. I didn't know what I was doing. And then you're going to be on the hook. You got to be careful out there, guys. So that's all I got, man. If you'd like to hear more of my content, hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And you see that notification bell up here? Turn your notification bell on so you could get my daily rants, man. I got a lot to say. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Stay black.